Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can use the graphing calculator to solve an exponential equation. Now, I know that this is an exponential equation because it's an equation that has an x in the exponent. Um, and, and later in chapter six, we're gonna actually learn how to solve this by hand, but we don't have the tools to do that yet. So right now, all we can do is solve an equation like this on the calculator using the intersection method. On the calculator. Now, if you've never used the intersection calculator method, um, I will put a video at the end of this lesson that you can watch if you've never done it before, and it will walk you through it step by step. So, if I have my equation, 16 is equal to 4 times 2 to the x plus 1. When I solve that equation for x, what we're doing is we're looking for the value of x so this side of the equation is equal to this side of the equation. So we're looking for a value of x that makes both of the sides of the equation 16. So if we use our graphing calculator to do this, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my y equals button where I graph functions. If I have anything in there, I'm gonna clear it out. Then in six in Y1, I'll color code this. In your Y1, I want you to put 16. And in your Y2, I want you to put four times two to the X plus one. And then you're gonna graph it. So when you graph your Y1, your constant function Y is equal to 16, you're just gonna get a constant line y is equal to 16, it's gonna pass through 16 on the y-axis. And when I do my blue function on the right-hand side, my exponential function, the y times two to the x plus one, I'm gonna get something that looks like this. This is my four times two to the x and then plus one. So what we're doing is we're looking for the value of x so that those both are equivalent to 16. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the intersection method on your calculator to find this point right here where they cross because that is the value of x where they're the same. So when you use the intersection method on your calculator, you're gonna find that this is approximately 1.91 if we round to two places. Now I say approximately because we're taking an estimated um, decimal value off the calculator. When we go to learn how to do this by hand, we're gonna be able to find the exact value and not a rounded decimal. Now, if you have used your calculator before and it was on the standard viewing window, you're not gonna see that line y is equal to 16 up at the top there because your standard viewing window goes from minus 10 to 10 on both axes. So you're not out far enough to see that line y equals 16. So if you have to adjust your window, you wanna hit the window button on the top of your calculator and make sure that you adjust your window so that you can see that line y equals 16. And you can do that by just going to where it says y max and you just wanna go out further than 10. So maybe make y max your 20 so that if it goes out to 20, you'll be able to see that line y equals 16. So if you have to, make sure you adjust your window to see that intersection point on your window, and then you use the intersection um, feature of your graph. And again, I'm gonna put that intersection um, uh, video at the end of the lesson, so if you've never used that feature on your calculator, it will walk you through it step by step. So the answer to this question is just x is equal to approximately 1.91 because it's where both sides of the equation cross. It's where they're the same.